Okay, uh, welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together. We slam and we knock on different door fells. We learn, we laugh, sometimes we even cry, but most importantly, we have fun while dorking out on some doors. Um, today, we have two very special guests. Uh, welcome, Mike and Pat. Carrie's locksmith service. Um, okay, I'll, uh, you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. This, one, this one could be uh, quite <laughs> alarming. What is happening? New door is stop. <laughs> Does that look like, a, is that a gag thing? Like the, when somebody opens it just to scare, is it in a bathroom when they scare the crap out of them? It's it's an it's an air horn, and I, I I would be scared if I opened up the door all the way and it pushed up against that. Um, yeah. Well, maybe this is for like a constipation lab, and so when you go in there, <laughs> you open the door and problem solved. This is giving me college dorm vibes. Um, I could totally see back in the day uh, pranking one of my friends this way. Yeah, people are stumbling into their dorm, and they they push open and wake up the whole hall and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I call this the uh the grandpa heart attack uh doorstop because <laughs> you're gonna give someone a, a heart attack uh <laughs> sure I think it's honestly I think it's a great idea though um I'm, I see myself using this later on at home <laughs> we're giving giving past some ideas here for uh -huh. uh, for the family. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't like how serviceable it is because it looks like it's a one-time kind of deal and you really gonna have to, I would like a better bracket in order to have it installed so that when the, you know, the air runs out, you have a, you know, a quick change replacement, but. Could, could you imagine opening this door and not realizing what was behind it? Yeah, why won't uh, this open all the way? Like you open it gently. Why won't this open all the, ah. <laughs> yeah. It's no. this train your kids not to slam open the doors right there you go maybe that's so, a new school project or maybe you need a better door closer or a door closer in general maybe it's one of those things that parents put on there so when their kids they're sneaking out at night um so not not too knocking bad right but uh, if you guys gave it a knocking score and we'll jump on to the the last picture well i see i'm gonna i think it's pretty good i mean i guess i don't know the intent but i'm guessing the intent is to have fun so i'm gonna give it a one thinking that's pretty great yeah, without knowing a little bit more about it, I don't see really any code violations unless the door doesn't open to like 90 degrees or something like that. But yeah, it seems like it's more fun than, uh, you know, anything else. And yeah, we, just, we just gave a lot of door hardware nerds um, an idea for a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Good anytime, any time of yeah. year. Maybe you guys should sort of engineer a bracket so that um, it makes it a little bit easier on the installer to, to put this on here. Hey, this fits into, you know where your previous wall stop was? You can use the same <laughs> screw, the same bracket to attach this lovely device. Yeah. I see this in the Sergeant catalog at some point. Yeah. <laughs> what would your part number be? Oh, uh, start start with the AS, oh, oh shit, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready for the next one? Yep. So I sure hope you guys didn't do this install. Um, <laughs> what, what do you guys see? Well, I see a panic bar on a residential grade door. Looks like it's got a, a strike. The wreck, you got the motion wrecks over there on the wall, just yeah. adjacent there. That's, that's kind of an odd position, but I'm guessing <laughs> they did that because of wiring in order to get the strike wire and the wrecks wire. They probably had one wire pull to get sort of near each other. That's probably why they did that. It's a little right in your face, the the Rex, the, yeah. the sensor right there. Yeah, but I'm guessing probably for wiring reasons they did that because we got the cinder, you got the cinder block, and there's obviously an electric strike on that door. So in order to make it a little bit easier on the wire run, they just put the Rex right there. That's true. I didn't think about it that way. This opening would have been a beast to wire. I mean, yeah, they could, have, they could have solved all that just by putting electrifying the bar and putting the Rex inside the device. And just going to the center hinge and you could have just cleaned that up a little bit and it looks like they got some sort of weather strip on here some weird stuff going on there or no maybe not that's a no i think you're right door stop kind of uh sweep yeah it's just a all this on like a 49 dollar door yeah <laughs> you know, it's hard to say exactly what panic hard what panic device that is i think it's precision but i'm I was gonna say it looks like a precision 
now that I can zoom in with the HES 9600 electric strike, the older version. But yeah, I don't, you know what, looking at the, uh, looking at the zooming in on the Rex, the, um, the cover plate, there's a gasket around it. I don't think, it, I mean, if it was a light switch at one point, obviously it's gone, but they've done a different, um, and I like how the, the Rex is actually much larger than the, than the plate. So that, that's interesting. But there's a, I can see like a, a like a gray cover plate with a, uh, with a gasket around it. So if they, if it was a light switch, they at least did a decent job of putting a better plate on there to mount to with a gasket. It seems like they really, it seems like they went to a lot of trouble to put this Rex in when this door really shouldn't have been there in the first place with that door. So. Yeah. <laughs> still, still a residential door uh, with. All yeah, it is a residential yeah. door. And it's just so dirty. Like I, that bothers me. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah. the guy, but if, if I, if I'm going to be working on a door, like I would want it to be like, I don't know. It feels like there's like oil spread all over it. Like someone went crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty rare to see a residential grade door in a hollow, you know, in a steel frame with a cinder, you know, with a cinder block wall. <laughs> you don't see that too often. Maybe you should have just got a different door. I feel like we're, if we, <laughs> I think if we did like a 180 degree turn, I feel like there'd be a staircase right there. Like we're in a bottom of a stairwell. Because not only is the door dirty, but the, you know, the, the white cinder block around it looks, looks like it. So there's probably a lot of air pressure that goes out the door. Like looks like there's a bunch of dust and doilies kind of trapped on the, sur you know, the porous surface of the, uh, of the cinder block. So a lot of those doors and stairwells, let's say, don't, let's just say they don't focus on cleaning stairwells all that much in these buildings. So it looks like this could be probably the exit to a stairwell. But with, again, where would you have a stairwell like that with the residential door? Like it just doesn't. <laughs> where would you get a residential door in like that concrete steel frame? I, I just think it was like, hey, we got a door laying around. Does it fit? Yeah, put it in. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, but also where are you getting that dirty that you're directly going to the stairwell? Like, yeah. are you not stopping? I mean, let even if let's like even think about a manufacturing floor. Like, typically there's sinks on the way. You're gonna wash your hands before you go into your car to leave for the day or eat lunch. Well, maybe more like a uh, maybe this is like a utility company or like a mechanics garage, coal mine. Yeah, coal right. oh mine. Yeah, it could be uh, that dirty. <laughs> yeah. It'd be dirtier then, and I would not choose white paint uh, if that was the application. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was really hoping to see like one of those doors. Like, remember the far side, where you had like the school for the gifted, and the door says "pull," and the kids pushing on it. I was hoping we'd get like a, one of those images on here. Like, what's wrong with this? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, no, def definitely some uh, more obscure ones today. Okay, if uh, final knocking score, would would you guys give this uh, install? Ooh. Uh, I'm going to give it a, I'll give it an eight. Eight. Just from an install standpoint, like I don't like the Rex over there. I don't like, the, I mean, I just wouldn't have done it that way, but sometimes there's, sometimes you can't see the forest of the trees. So I don't know all the other challenges that might've been presented, but from a functionality, does it work? Probably. Let's see, I'm going to give it a little bit better. I'm going to give it like a, a five, just because I'm going to assume they had a budget of about $150 and they were <laughs> able to meet it by doing everything this way. So. And uh, they, they definitely didn't hire uh, a, a professional to, well, I guess it could have been professional, you know. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Somebody that didn't know about the other options. Yes. Mia, okay. what's your, what's your, Mia, what's your number? Um, from a, I would give it about a three. I don't think there's any code violations here. The install could have been done better, but um, it seems like everything's secure around, like secured to the door. Um, there's no pizza peels behind the exit device. We've seen worse. Uh, there's no Mountain Dew fire extinguishers in the vicinity. You know, I'm not an installer or a locksmith. So, you know, I have to rely on your expertise, but from like a code uh, in standpoint and things like that, I don't, I don't see a ton wrong here other than their, cho their, their paint choice um, for the area. It doesn't definitely doesn't have the Feng Shui. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, thank you, Pat.
and Mike uh, from Harry's Locksmith uh, for being here. And uh, thank you, Mia, as well. Uh, join us next time on the episode of uh, Unhinged. Our doors are always open because they're unhinged. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.